Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tina Carini with spongeandstamp.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So today I want to spotlight this brand new second release in the Celebrations brochure. It's called Painted Seasons. It's absolutely stunning. When you look at it, you think, well, that's not really that big of a deal, but wait till you see what it does. So this is one of the cards that I've recently created using this stamp set. And look at the detail in that flower. That is not a two-step stamping. It's not coloring and blending. It's just simply inking up your image and stamping down one time. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So what I've got here is a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and fold that up. And then we've got our matting here that is four by five and a quarter, and this is in Sahara sand. And then we have our piece of whisper white that we're going to do our stamping on. It's three and a half by two and three eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and move this aside. We're going to bring in our flower. Sorry about that. I forgot our little image too. And our image. I've used the image out of a celebration item as well. This is a $50 purchase before tax and shipping and you can choose this for free it's called part of my story i have been using it like crazy i love the sentiments in here and we're going to use you're my chosen family so what i'm going to do is ink this up in early espresso and i'm going to try not to stick my head in the camera here but i'm going to stamp it Actually, no, I'm sorry. What we're going to do first is I'm going to use my envelope punch board and I'm going to round off one of the corners on that and then the diagonal corner on the other side. And all this does is just kind of create a little bit of interest. That's all it does is just make it a little bit more fancier, if you would. So I'm going to try to stamp this. Hopefully I'm still in the camera here. Down towards the bottom and as straight as I can, kind of centered, right about there. And then that's our sentiment. Now I'm gonna bring in our flower. Watch how simple this is. You just ink this up. And you wanna make sure that your ink pad that you're using isn't too, too juicy, because if it is, it'll just stamp um, like a big blob is it won't be that pretty so you'll just have to try to blot off some of your ink that's in your ink pad stamp it down and then there you go isn't that just gorgeous super super easy and it looks like you've just been painting and drawing for hours and you haven't been so now I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm gonna bring in my mat and I'm gonna be using this little ferny image right here that could really be a fern or it could even be an evergreen sprig. So we're going to use that and I'm going to ink that up. Now I am going to do this of a stamp off and I'm just going to stamp on, stamp off, and all I'm doing is just kind of going around randomly and that's all I'm doing. It's just something really, really simple and easy. There's um, really no, no rhyme or way that to do it. Just however you like it and whatever you think is best. And anything that you do is going to be absolutely beautiful. I promise you that because this is just an amazing stamp set. So even... Even the, the fern itself is just so detailed in its, in its um, stamping two images. It's just so, so pretty. So I think that that's probably good. Maybe I'll bring um, uh, a leaf like right in here 
well, we really didn't need that, but that's all right. I'm going to leave that alone. So I'm going to move this aside and we're almost done here. So I'm going to attach this. I'm just going to use some of my Mono Tombow multi-liquid glue. And just going to put a little bit around here and center it onto our card base, just like that. And then we're gonna adhere this to the top. And I thought I brought over my dimensions. Hmm. I probably did, but I'm so organized I never can find them. <laughs> so we're just going to clip a few of these off right here. These are some mini dimensions. And I'm just going to clip a couple off of there. I am filming in a different spot than what I normally do, so I'm trying to remember, or I tried to remember, to bring over everything that I needed for this. <laughs> For this video but I didn't do such a hot job so let's go take the backing off of all of these so this stamp set is like I said it is um, the second release of the celebration there's three items that have been released and I'm gonna be posting a video for the next couple of days on each well, I, yeah, on each item, I believe. No, there's one item that I won't be, sorry. And then um, this, and then there's the um, a new embossing folder. And we're going to be doing that. And I'm going to put a rhinestone right here in the center of this. I need my pokey tool. Here we go. That will work. And I'm going to put that right into the center. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? But yet it's so simple. And let me tell you, my husband loves this card. So this would make a great masculine card, even though it's got a flower on it. So I hope that you guys give this a try. And if this, let me show you what it bundles up with so that you know. It is Painted Harvest Designer Series Paper. And this is four designs and you get three sheets of each this paper is beautiful um, it has a design on the back side and this comes in a bundle so with a hundred dollar purchase before tax and shipping you can choose this bundle and let me tell you it is really pretty so thanks for joining me today. I really hope that you really like this video and please give me a thumbs up, comment below. I love to hear from you guys. And if you need a catalog, please message me and I will get you the catalog and the brochures of the celebration items. And check me out on Facebook. I go live every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. And you can find me at Sponge and Stamp with Tina on Facebook. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.